welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Dior products from the Spring Summer Collection. I stopped by the counter yesterday, the day before, and I picked up a few goodies. So I'm going to share them with you today and create a look with the products that I purchased. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video. So this is the little goodie bag that I picked up at the counter. I love that like the, even the little bags are like detailed. I don't know, even the bag says Dior. I'm like, okay, you bougie, I get it. Got uh, the receipt, we don't need that. Um, I got a few samples of the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet and the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum Perfume. My personal favorite perfume from Dior is the Dior Addict, which they don't usually have in samples, but I always like spritz a little bit on whenever I'm at the counter. But I'm excited to try these because I have used the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum for such a long time. It was one of my first perfumes that I purchased as like a young adult, but I think that the formula that they have now is not exactly the formula they used to have several years ago. Miss Dior Eau de Parfum that I have now now does not smell exactly like the one that I had like a decade ago but who knows so I also picked up a few of the Dior Addict lip glow so these are color awakening hydrating lip balm so you're supposed to be able to put these on your lips and it's going to like enhance whatever natural lip color you have and so like the lip glow and lip maximizer are kind of like staples for like the Dior makeup looks but they decided to just like revamp and come out with a whole bunch of different ones. They had like part of like the campaign was called like Lip Squad or something like that. Like, you know, like kids these days call their friends squads. So they had like the new lip squads, things like that. So they have the classic hydrating shiny lip balm. They have also a hollow one. I'm not sure if Christine from Simply Neological would agree that it's 100% holographic. It seems to be a bit more sparkly shimmery than hollow, but we will test it out. And also I got a matte one. And last but not least, I got a new eyeshadow. I was gonna say quad, but it's not a quad because it's five colors. So I think it's just like eyeshadow palette. This is the Five Colors Glow Addict number 887 in Thrill. This is just High Fidelity Colors Effects Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so, this, so there were two eyeshadow palettes with the spring collection. There was one that was more cool toned mattes and pastel colors, and there was this one here that I got. To me, this palette just screams spring. It's pink, it's purple, it's bright and colorful. That's why I'm wearing pink today and I have pink on my nails because I'm like, oh my god, it's spring. Yay, bright, bold, beautiful colors. Let's get rid of these dark colors. Let's go into the pinks. So when I saw this palette, I was like, I need this in my life. And so I'm going to give you guys some swatches. Some of these colors are so pretty, guys. Whenever I do the first swatches, I'm always so hesitant because the palette is so beautiful as it is. There's so many details and everything looks so perfect. And then when you swatch it, kind of just like, smudges through so I'm like okay I'll just get I'll just take one last look at this perfection and then I'll give it a swatch okay like I mentioned the other palette had more cool toned pastels and I think it had a black as well overall the colors in the second palette just I don't know it seemed a bit too dark for me and even though this does have have some cool tones it has some shimmer and has a bit more color so I felt like for me it was more wearable I feel like I should have picked up both palettes like they they were both really nice and I think that both of the palettes would actually work well together okay anyway back on track let's focus on what, what I actually have instead of thinking of what I want to go get after Okay. When I first saw the palette that I picked up, I thought, oh, I'm gonna get the other palette because this palette here looks a little bit too much like the Precious Rocks Ruby palette. But then once I swatched them, they look much more different. I feel like the Precious Rocks Ruby palette was more cranberry colors and this is more definitely pink and yeah, a bit more purple and just like more lavender and just very spring. What won me over for this palette was the middle shade in the, in the I wanna say quad, in the middle shade in the palette or the bottom swatch here. This like fluorescent bright, almost like raspberry, kind of has iridescent pink. I was like, oh, okay, that's it. I need this, I need this palette. And the other colors look really nice. I mean, there's the dark berry color, which I think will probably be a transition shade or like, you know, a crease shade. And then you have these like three really nice light colors. I find that like 
the third shade that I swatched, it's almost like kind of a gray, kind of a lilac, kind of lavender color. It's so gorgeous. I mean, the first color is just like a really nice light champagne color. The second one is like a really nice pink shade. Overall, like I said, this is just like spring, pink, girly, pretty. Let's just have fun and be pink and beautiful. I'm like, yes, I'm into this. Let's get a look going with this. One thing that I was disappointed about though is that when I was looking online at the collection, I saw that they had some uh, nail polishes and I was like, ooh, nail polish, I love nail polish. And I think it said something to the effect of the nail polish being scented. I'm not sure if it's like once it dries, it has a scent. I was just very intrigued. I was like, and also the colors were very beautiful. It was like, like pinks and purples and like spring has sprung kinds of colors. But then when I got to the store, they didn't actually have them in store. I was like, oh, so sad. But Mojan said that she would let me know if they get them in store. And if they do, I will get them and I'll let you know if they smell like raspberries or daisies or whatever the case may be. Okay, let's move on to the Lip Glow products. I have never actually used Lip Glow. I've used the Lip Maximizer, which is like the lip gloss, but I've heard so many things about the lip glow, so I was very excited to get my hands on these. So the one that I was the most intrigued by is the Holo one. Like I said before, I'm not sure if this is going to be 100% holographic, but I am willing to give it a try. So there's like a little bit of a scent. Okay, I feel like the scent is gone now that I've like opened it up and smelled it for more than a second. It's very, very, like very faint. Like it's not very strong. Like I feel like MAC, lipsticks are probably some of the strongest scented lipsticks that I've encountered so far and this is like not even a fraction of that so just keep that in mind. I'm just gonna give you guys a swatch but I will test these out on my lips afterwards. So this is the hollow color. This is basically what I thought it would be. I didn't expect it to be like 100% holographic. I think companies are using glitter and sparkle and calling it holographic now so this is basically what I thought. This is basically what I expected, but I still think it's cute. I'll try it on after. So I don't really know why, but I've been on this like raspberry trend. I don't know, I'm just like, I just wanna wear raspberry colors, whether it's on my lips or my eyes, like all the time. So I ended up getting two <laughs> raspberry shades of this lip glow. And I'm, I'm thinking back now, I'm like, I don't think that's good for like review purposes, but oh well, that's what I did. You know what, I could always just go back to the counter and get another color. <laughs> Problem solved. So this is the regular lip glow in the shade Raspberry. This is 007. Oh, and the holographic one is 010. It says lip glow hollow pink. So this is the swatch here, but these are types of products that kind of react on a personal level. Like you're supposed to like enhance your natural lip color. I think the point of this is like, if you're kind of in a rush or if you're someone who doesn't want to wear lots of makeup, you can just kind of like throw this on and it's going to like act as a lip color. And also it's supposed to be like very hydrating. So the swatch that I'm showing you guys here is like fine, but when I wear it on my lips, it'll be even better. So this is the Lip Glow 102 Matte Raspberry. Now this one I actually tried in store and I quite liked it. So this one just off the bat is definitely more dark than the regular Lip Glow, mostly because it's matte so it probably has like more pigment or just shows up more. I'm into the raspberries right now. That's probably why I picked up this eyeshadow palette because I was like, oh my god, pink. I need pink. So let's just jump right in and create a look. I think once all of my makeup is said and done, I will test out the lip glows because I feel like it'll look better with like everything done. I will skip through any parts of the makeup look that aren't related to the products that I got today. So like foundation, etc., will be skipped over. Let me know if you got your hands on those nail polishes. I'm very intrigued. Like the colors are just so pretty. I mean, maybe we just won't get them in Canada or maybe we just won't get them in Montreal, I don't know, I really wanna get them. Maybe I'll just order them online. Honestly, sometimes it really sucks living in Canada because there's so many products sometimes that just like don't sell here for some reason. And I'm like, I want it, I'll, I'll give you my money if you just send it to me. <sighs> I'm quite certain with this little palette, I can create several different looks. I think we can go for something more light and natural and definitely something more dark and bold and dramatic. And I think for today's sake, we're gonna go with something more bold and raspberry. So please let me know down in the comments what look you would like to see next with this gorgeous palette. So I think I'm gonna start off by going into the dark plummy shade and sort of just like put that in the crease here. I'm going in with a small tapered brush here. 
Oh, and I've already done uh, my brows and my base, not my base, but I've primed my face off camera or off iPhone and I've already primed my eyelids, so I'm just ready to go. I'm going in with a big clean fluffy brush and just blending that out a little bit. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going with this look, but I'm sure I will figure it out as I go. So now I'm going to go into the middle a raspberry shade because that's honestly the color that made me buy the palette. I was like, oh yes, I need this. I need this in my life. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna go back into the dark matte plummy shade and just kind of put some more dark color in the crease here. There is a tiny, tiny bit of fallout here. I think it's from the darker um, plummy color, but there's not that much and it's gonna clean up well. But I did my eyes first because you never know using a new palette what it's going to be like. So I'll use the same small tapered brush and the dark um, plummy color and I'm going to place some of this under the lash line here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the white shadow in the palette and put some of that under my brow bone. And also using that white and a small brush, I'm going to place that on the inner corner here. So I kind of feel like not really adding liner because I feel like I want this to look light and spring and beautiful. I think what I might do is add a little bit of white liner in the bottom waterline and then lots of mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm going to use that in my waterline. I've never actually tried this for my waterline, but I'm assuming it'll work. And yeah, I was right. It works. So now for mascara, I'm going into the Dior Pump and Volume Mascara. Okay, let me do the second eye and I'll be right back. Whew, that was fast. Okay, so let's move on to the lip glows. I really want to try these out. I think we'll start off by trying the normal lip glow raspberry color, and then I'll try the holographic and then the matte one. Okay, so I'm going to try the Dior Addict Lip Glow 007 or 007 Raspberry. This feels super comfortable. It just feels like a chapstick, but it has a bit of color. It's nice. It's cute. So let's go ahead and try the hollow. This feels like a normal chaps. Like I kind of expected it to feel a bit grainy because of the glitter. I don't know how I feel about the color because like it almost just looks like a weird like shimmer topper or something. Maybe I feel like this is something that I would keep in my purse and like throw on top of a lipstick a few hours in. Like you know when you kind of want to give like a second life to your lip color. I think this would be good. I feel like as it's like adapting to my lips, it's kind of becoming darker. It definitely does not feel hollow. Is it? I don't know. It's like kind of iridescent. I feel like there is. I'm not exactly sure what the proper definition of hollow is. I'm sure Christine from Simply Neological would explain. And if you have the proper definition of hollow, leave, leave it down in the comments. It is very reflective. It does not have a gritty, chunky glitter feel because some lipsticks that have like a metallic-y or shimmer finish kind of have that grit to it, but this does not. Like the longer it stays on my lips, the more I like it. Confused. I'm confused because I didn't think I would like this, but now I'm like, hmm, it's not bad. Okay, let's try the last one. This leaves behind a lot of glitter or hollow, if you will. So I'm assuming this is what will happen if you just let the lip glow wear off on its own. So uh, just be prepared for disco lips. Okay, let's try the last one. I'm going to try the Matte Raspberry. This is the 102 Matte Raspberry. I feel like out of all of the formulas, this one feels the thickest. It almost feels like like the Blistex chapstick, like the like thick waxy feel. This is what this one feels like. Compared to the gloss one, this is definitely more pigmented. I quite like this. I really like the color. The texture is nice. It just feels like a thick lip balm. I think the only downfall to this is that since it is a bit more tinted and since it feels like a lip gloss, I could see myself like smearing it a little bit more. Whereas like the regular lip glow, if you kind of pass the lines a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. But since the matte one is a bit more dark, I could like if you just like kind of smear it all over, it might look a little bit Joker-esque. 
So in all three of these formulas, there was also a orange color, a plum, and a light pink. The light pink one didn't interest me so much. The plum, not really. I think I might pick up the orange one at some point. I don't know. I love orange and corals, and it's springtime in theory. So maybe I'll pick that up. I think out of all of these formulas, I think the regular lip glow and the matte one are my favorite. The hollow one, I'm kind of on the fence on. I'm like, I don't know. It, I'm not sure if it's really holographic and it's kind of just like shimmery, which is okay. But I'm not really sure how often I actually want to have like glitter lips. I love glitter on my eyeshadow and like a highlight that's like beaming and gorgeous. But I don't know if I really want glitter lips. And also the fact that like when I was wiping this off, that the glitter stayed on my lips, even though like the product was gone. I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. If you guys have tried any of these three formulas, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I really love this palette. I think it's gorgeous for spring. I think it's beautiful. Um, I definitely did like a bit more of a plummy purple look today, but let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. If you want to see something more like office wear evening every day, let me know down in the comments. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. It really means the world to me. As you guys know, I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see next if you want to see more looks with this. But if you have color combinations in mind, let me know down in the comments. And like I mentioned in Monday's video, I am going to be in San Francisco in a few weeks. I'll be there for a couple of weeks with my husband. So if you guys live in San Francisco and want to meet up, let me know. If you guys have any makeup brands or cosmetics products that are you know that are unique to San Francisco or the Bay Area, let me know down in the comments because I think it'd be interesting to find brands that are unique to San Francisco. I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.